It's the biggest parade of the year, the Rose Parade. Can you imagine over 20 million flowers, 5,000 gallons of glue, 600 tons of steel, and north of 200,000 combined volunteer hours? Well, you joined us last year. Our insider is back, Master Gardener Paul James. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Glad to be here. I'm glad to have you. We see it on TV. These floats get bigger and more detailed every year. What can we expect to see in 2017? More of the same, bigger and better. <laughs> Just 40 some odd floats and this year there's going to be some records broken, some records established anyway. Uh, here's Dole Packaged Foods. Their float is Spirit of Hawaii and it celebrates Dole's rich history in Hawaii uh -huh. and their commitment to non-GMO foods. This thing's going to have 28 foot volcano with 20 foot flames leaping out and of course sea turtles, all kinds wow. of things that depict life in the islands. It's a beautiful float. Just incredible. And behind me here, real California milk. I always love their floats because they feature things that I love to eat like <laughs> cheeses and butter and yogurt and this year's no exception, but this year they are celebrating legacy of generations. And what that's all about really is recognizing the 1,300 dairy farms in California that uh, make California the number one dairy state in the country. They produce enough milk with their 1.7 million dairy cows to fill the Rose Bowl Stadium no less than 58 times, which is pretty remarkable, I think. <laughs> that's a lot of milk. We've got miracle Grow. the folks from miracle Grow. gardeners know that name, and they have a float called Everything's Coming Up Roses, so they're celebrating the national flower and the most popular backyard flower grown. Uh, it's a wonderful float, and one of the cool things miracle Grow is doing this year, they're asking each and every one of us to give a rose to someone who's made a difference in our lives, mm -hmm. and I love that. Mm -hmm. Northwestern Mutual. This is a really, the message here is really amazing. Uh -huh. It's a mother-daughter, both of whom were diagnosed with the same hereditary cancer uh -huh. several years ago. Now, thanks to Northwestern Mutual's contribution in dollars and time and effort toward supporting children's cancer research, those two people are cured, they are cancer-free, uh -huh. and they will be riding on the float. Uh -huh. I love Great that. story, huh? Yeah, wa waves of hope, um, and we know hope is so important yeah. after after a diagnosis, and it's hard to imagine for that family what it was like. Um, Paul, we were looking at some video there of these these volunteers, these artisans creating the floats. What are some of the more unique materials um, that are that are used to put those images together? You know, there are so many different things that they use from teeny tiny little onion seeds to much larger kinds of you know whole plants. Uh -huh. One of the more unusual ones is actually with real California milk. They're using this year almond shells. You know, California grows a lot of almonds. And so those are almond shells that are being applied one by one. And not only that, but the cows eat the almond shells. So a number of the products on the real California milk float are products that cows actually the dairy cows actually eat uh -huh. like oats and barley and those almond shells we we don't have a ton of time left but i'm curious about the date why is the parade held on january 2nd this year instead of the first i had nothing to do with that <laughs> I, I didn't but, know but maybe you've but, got the answer i was i'm hoping there's been this long-standing tradition in fact i think it's a rule um, that you cannot have the parade on a Sunday. So the parade will be on Monday rather than Sunday. Wow. That's about all I know. <laughs> I, I, I get that. Uh, celebrating 128 years, uh, such a spectacular and unique event. Paul, thank you for joining us and a very happy and healthy new year. Oh, thank you so much. Same to you. Thank you.